सो लेट मी टेल यू वॉट वी आर कुकिंग वी आर कुकिंग चिकन कड़ी दीज आर द चॉप अनियंस इन हियर वी हैव द लिटिल विद आउट जिंजर गार्लिक पेस्ट द रेस्ट वी हैव एडेड टू द चिकन द मेरीनेटेड चिकन वी हैव द टोमेटो हियर सो विल पेस्ट इट आफ्टर वी पुट द जिंजर गार्लिक पेस्ट इन द कड़ी and here is the marinated chicken look at how we have sliced the chicken leg pieces so that the spices and the oil goes into the chicken leg because it has full of meat in it so it needs to be fully absorbed by the pieces we have marinated this and we have put it in the refrigerator for 1 hour make sure you do that We have used very simple spices here, just mustard oil, some turmeric powder, some coriander powder, cumin powder, and ginger garlic paste, and also some little bit of chicken masala. So now we have the karhai hot. We have put mustard oil in it. We are going to fry the onions at first. So after the oil heats up perfectly well, we will add some spices to it. So we have put jeera. Now we are going to add some bay leaves to it. This is going to add a very nice aroma to the chicken. So now we are going to add the onion. The onion needs to be finely chopped, and now we are running the onions in the oil. There's a very nice aroma coming out of this onion. I really love it. I love the smell. So the onions, we keep running them. They have to turn to pink. So now the onions are fried, semi-fried, and we are adding the ginger garlic paste to it. So the ginger garlic paste also has. green chilies we love green chili we do not rely much on red chilies we are east india people we love green chilies so as you can see now we find these we will fry these till the smell of the ginger garlic paste it goes off can get a very beautiful aroma out of this ginger garlic paste without this there is no chicken curry so now we are adding the marinated chicken in there goes the leg piece my favorite wow look at that color So when we put this marinated chicken into this fried onions mixture we have to make sure that the marination gravy it stays back in the bowl itself we are not going to add any kind of water into this because we want we want the chicken to cook well to get fried well before we add any such water to make it gravy so we are going to mix the chicken pieces properly with the onions and the garlic paste and the garlic paste and let you have a look at the chicken look wow look at the oil it it's frying it is getting fried 
So now we have added some chicken masala into it. We're going to add all the spices now because the chicken is at least 20% fried. Here goes the turmeric powder. Two small spoons. Okay, in case I forgotten, it was three spoons of chicken masala, and this is. We are going to add the coriander powder, just like Salt Bay. Ooh, see, it goes there like Salt Bay. You know it's Salt Bay, right? If you haven't seen, you should watch. But after, before, but after this video, now we've added some hot red chili powder. We have to just a little bit of it. We do not want so much of red hotness in your mouth. And now, we're going to increase the flame a bit because we're going to mix all the spices with the chicken. Mixing the chicken. I'm getting a nice aroma already. So here the semi-fried onions are going to get fully fried and cooked with the chicken. We're going to cover this up. So just decrease the flame a bit. Top it up so it gets fried. Wow. You need to check the chicken some in between. So yeah, you're frying it. It needs to get more fried. So our tomato paste is ready and we're going to add it in here. See this perfect tomato paste. So it's a raw tomato and you need not do any kind of sorting or anything of that kind. So we're going to add every bit of tomato in there. I have not told you yet who is the cook. Uh, that's a secret. And. That should remain a secret. That should remain a secret. Right. So let's look at the color. It's kind of reddish. Orange. Okay, so this bit by bit we have added water so that it soaks up and lets the chicken get cooked. This process in Bengali we call it as koshano. So we we let it dry up the chicken with the whole mixture and then as per our need of the consistency, the gravy, we add water. But this is how we get the chicken cooked at first before adding too much water into it. And this process of cooking chicken is very different from all the other processes. We this is the boiled potatoes. So generally the cooking time of potatoes and chicken takes, it's quite more. So we have added some water into it. Now the chicken koshano was perfectly done and the pieces are also almost cooked. We have added the potatoes here, the curry and we will let it cook 
for some time so that the curry gets done. We'll put it in medium flame and cover it. You can see a beautiful color now, the chicken. Now we're going to add some garam masala powder and this is the garam masala powder which we have prepared at home. So we have the whole garam masala spices. We roast them a little and then grind them into a fine powder. So we add a little bit of these. we mix this so here we are going to keep the gravy a bit thin because this is a very homemade style chicken curry and we love it a bit funny our chicken is done look at it so beautiful. So we are ready to serve this. This is the easy home style chicken curry. It's very simple and you can have it with almost anything rice roti chapati naan we have made a simple pulao to go for it so please enjoy this dish and let us know how it goes thank you for watching this video please stay tuned for more such videos Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a good day. Namaste.